Hey folks, it's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. It's that time of the month. I've got it. I've got my MTB Pro Box and we're ready to break it down. I'm here in the Mid-Atlantic, I'm out in Virginia on a really, really special lake. So I've been out here before doing some damage and I'm back out here again with this box ready to break it open and see what's inside. So let's get to it right away. We got a, I'm a little stick guys. I've got a top water bait. I've got sunshine. I've got a real lustrous pattern. That's a big old I'm a, they call that the little stick. There's a big brother to that called the big stick, but I've got the little stick out here. So a little later on, on, we've got an afternoon afternoon fish here. We're going to be doing some topwater fishing. So there's the IMA. First bait out of the box. Second one out of the box. Perfection lures. We got a football jig. This is a great looking football jig. A standing football jig in a half ounce. They call it green pumpkin delicious. Check it out. So that's what's going to be going on in some of the uh, sunken timber and some of the wood we have out here. This lake is post spawn time. We've got probably 72 to 74 degree water temperatures and tons of fish willing to bite in the post spawn. So the next one going on. We've got a catch go waggle worm. There's a catch go Pro Series Waggle Worm. We're going to get that all hooked up with a flickety split. The flickety split is just that. It's a little flick shape type uh, wacky rigging type of uh, jig head. So we're going to put those two together, get our finesse bite on because there's some clear water on this lake. So we're going to take care of business with that Catch Go exclusive. The next bait out of the box is the Strike Pro Inquisitor. Strike Pro Inquisitor. What do we got here? Oh, it, that's the jerk bait. So we got a jerk bait from Strike Pro. Strike bait, Strike Pro jerk baits, jerk baits all day long, all year long, guys. Again, we got sunshine i got clear water that's gonna be a killer bait today so we're gonna throw that and what else do we have in this box z-man custom chatterbait guys how can we go wrong with a chatterbait looks like this little bag broke open a little bit on the side of this chatterbait but that's a midnight uh special design for night fishing guys we got a black and purple 3 8 ounce chatterbait and to match up with that we've got the cream lures we got the cream lures little swim bait to go on the back as a great little trailer now i'm not gonna be fishing at night with this that's a killer option if we've got dark dark a dark night out there with that dark profile but i've got dirty water i got some dirty water way up uh the creek so we're gonna throw that up there and see if we can pocket it and see what we can pull off and then what do we have here we have an <laughs> this is a de fishing soap. What? We got a de fishing soap, guys. We got something to clean our hands after all these fish we're going to catch today. So, again, the mystery tackle box loaded with all kinds of great stuff for the seasons that I'm in here in the Mid Atlantic. It's time to get the game on. How fast was that? Let's get out and do some fishing, guys. All right, right out the gate, guys. I'm going finesse. I went ahead and grabbed that flickety split jig head by Ketchco and I paired it up with a Ketchco waggle worm. So, I'm going to go Ketchco combo uh, finesse style right here. I used a little wacko, uh, wacko tool ring there to help that bait hold up a little bit longer instead of putting that actual hook directly through the meat of the bait i put that little o-ring on there to help protect the bait and make it last a little bit longer so i'm gonna go ahead and flick this up underneath some of this cover i've got a great little shade line i'm gonna hit some docks and see if we can get our first fish on the uh, first bait out of the box oh my god first cast first cast guys literally skip this thing like a champ this thing skips beautifully through this right up underneath that tree and launch this bass right out of the water this thing's beautiful good fish unbelievable first cast let's see if i can get him in here beautiful look at that that is so cool look at that thing in the nose guys tell me that thing is not hooked as good as it gets for a wacky little for a wacky little jig head that is killer catch go way to go that's a beautiful bass to start the day unbelievable first cast with the first bait out of the box that is one heck of a worm i knew that pretty little color with this sun and this reasonably clear water would actually work that well so guys check that out <laughs> how cool and how fun is that calm in this pocket windy out on the lake it's gorgeous out here guys i can't imagine how it's gonna be an absolutely incredible day that's a great way to start it for some of you suspicious superstitious guys out here you guys will probably think i'm not going to catch another fish for the rest of the day but i bet you're wrong you guys just stay tuned there's more baits coming out I, I that happened so fast guys i didn't even get a chance to tell you what i'm throwing this thing on this is my drop shot special it's my medium light extra fast action six foot ten uh like i said drop shot special rod just an absolutely incredible combo and i wanted to go as finessey as i could but not go crazy out here because there's a lot of wood and a lot of cover so I got 12 pound test braid this is actually a really unique diameter line this is seven pound test uh, I believe it's Sunline Sniper if I'm not mistaken they make a seven pound test kind of a good halfway medium between like an eight pound and a six pound test to cover me a little bit better but that's it skipped it like just skipped it like nothing right up underneath that uh limb and nailed them so let's get moving let's try some other baits okay folks so now i broke out the jig there's no question i'm going to throw that jig sooner than later that's the uh perfection lures 
football jig, but look at this thing. It's got these two alien-like antenna deals, which I guess are supposed to help it stay stand up that much better off the bottom, or if you've got some hard cover or rocks, those two little antennae looking things, I'm sure are gonna keep it standing up really well. Now, the challenge is, is that it's pretty much post-spawn. A lot of these fish are way up shallow, and I got some soft cover, and I've got some wood and things like that these, these fish are in, but I have some docks. So this is a really great, great bait for structure out a little bit deeper it's a half ounce uh, when those fish are backing off maybe in the summertime and they're hanging off off of ledges and such but there's a way we're going to catch them on this i'm going to go ahead and throw it near a dock here and some of this wood and just creep it and crawl it over some of the limbs and i'm sure i'll pick something up on a jig it's a no brainer with a jig in this uh situation so let me go ahead and throw this in there i got a crawl trailer on there and let's just go ahead and pitch it around some of these docks and see if we can't find ourselves a hungry bass for a jig Don't tell me, don't tell me guys. I did it again. First cast with the jig. That's back to back baits, first casts. I can't believe it, that's gonna be a first. I, I, if I do that again, he's in the boat, but I got him. Golly, what are the chances of that guys? Right by a dock, right in the shade, right by the wood. Not a huge fish, little dink. Two casts, two baits. Go figure, mystery tackle box. Go on with your bed selves. I love this. I love these boxes, guys. I gotta tell you, if you don't have a mystery tackle box and you don't have the chance to get some of these baits out of these boxes every month and treat yourself, hit up mysterytacklebox.com. It's a no-brainer. It's just a great, great time. All right, let's move on. Let's just keep fishing all these baits, see how quick I can get this done. And again, that happened so fast, I didn't even have a chance to tell you about this setup. This is really simple. Seven foot, medium heavy uh, action bait casting rod, 15 pound test Seaguar and Viz X, and an awesome Lose Pro Mag. I mean, this is just an awesome combination for an awesome jig. I mean, just an absolutely awesome bait, great color for this conditions. Football jig or not, it worked right out there, right off the uh, edge of that dock. All right, guys, check out the Strike Pro Inquisitor. Isn't that a beautiful jerk bait? Jerk baits all year long, guys. I'm telling you, you just have to move them a little faster when the water's warm or warmer. And speaking of warm, we've got about 78 degree water temperature out here in the uh, second week of May in Virginia. The spawn is pretty much done. We've got post spawn fish roaming all over the place. So I'm out here pretty much on a main lake point in this little, little pocket by some pads, a little bit of cover, trying to keep myself from getting locked up on a jerk bait in some hard cover. So let's just see if we can get something to eat this thing. Didn't get one on the first cast, but that's okay. Let's just keep on fishing it and see if we can roll through these baits. One of the things that happens with jerk baits a lot, when it's midday like this and it's high, bright sun and it's pretty warm, just like we just saw, those fish are so tight to cover. It's going to be kind of a tough deal to get a roaming fish out here uh, willing to hit a jerkbait. You know, early morning bites, you know, when it's low light, maybe later on the night, the jerkbait bite could be awesome. But if I get this close enough to some cover, maybe up against a dock, up against some wood where there's a shade line, this jerkbait could shine in those situations. So as I work my way around this point, I'm going to tuck myself back into these uh, pockets, get around some cover, and hopefully pop one with the jerkbait. All right, folks, I can't think of a more perfect scenario on this main lake point than right here. I've got a bush that sticks way out on the point, and then on that edge, there's also some lily pads. So there's all kinds of cover on this point, and it's shallow, even though it's uh, about that time of year where you're going to find a lot of fish way back up in the uh, creeks and up in the pockets. The main lake can still hold some fish if you've got big shallow, pot, shallow uh, points like this. I've got a big old bed right there that's empty. There's no bass on it. There's probably a bunch of bluegill sitting on it. So there's still reasons for bass to be up on these main lake points on smaller reservoirs like this. So they'll go pretty much anywhere they can. Oh, <laughs> I just popped one right exactly where I thought he'd be. Look at him. Guys, is that not ridiculous? Exactly what I thought would happen. Not a big fish, but bait number three within like four, four minutes. I've been just casting. I've passed it on the first spot over there. Basically, let the wind carry me down to this next point, and there's pass number three. Unbelievable. The Inquisitor, the Inquisitor by Strike Po was... Uh, attack getting an inquisitive bass to attack so there we go check it out tell me that's not a beautiful spot i'm gonna throw one more time in here that is just a perfect scenario for a bass right on the edge of these pads with this jerk let's see if i can pop another one real quick well that was awesome throwing that third bait and getting a fish that quick is just a killer deal so here's what we're going to do we're going to take this chatter bait that dark black and purple chatter bait with that cream lures little uh trailer swim bait and we're going to head up lake we're going to go way up lake to where that water is more stained the skies are clouding up a little bit there's a chance of thunderstorms a little later it's just no doubt the fish is going to be great today because i think just low pressure and everything that's going on the, the warmth is here we've just got all kinds of reasons why it's going to be great so let's head up lake it's not that far a run let's see if we can whack one on this uh chatter bait this dark color and some stained water and uh 
after that, we're just gonna play with the rest of these baits for the rest of the day and see how many more fish we can catch. What I might actually do is just hug the shoreline as I run up the lake and just chuck this bait, even though it's not very stained water. But with these clouds, it's a little darker skies right now. They're, they're gonna hit this thing if they're hungry. So let's get up on the, on the point like we did with that jerk bait and see if we can pop one on the chatter bait as we move up lake to the dirtier water. Empty beds everywhere, just beds that are just empty, dug out, there's bluegill all over them. So we're definitely in the zone right here. We're definitely in, in the right spot. The wind's taking me, taking me all the way back. Oh my God, guys, I think it just happened. This is a big fish right on the main point oh god guys what do i have here is this as big as i think it is oh it's not huge but it's the biggest one of the day and i got it done i got it done just like that check it out not even back to where i thought i'd have to be and there it is guys slam complete how cool is that thank you clouds thank you wind that's what it takes chatterbait cream lures mystery tackle box what a way to go in the second week of may that is so killer guys i'm going to keep on fishing i'm going to keep on throwing this uh killer chatterbait i'm going to go all the way up to where it's a little more stained i'm going to see if we can find a giant if we don't find a giant what do we just do we just nailed every single every single bait out of the box done in literally like 12 to 15 minutes that's unbelievable let's just keep fishing I'm glad you guys are joining me ultra braid fart check that out there's the ima forgot about the top water bait i i don't know how i could have forgot about the top water bait i mean look at these clouds look at this water rippling and look at this wind hustling big loud awesome walking bait like that that spits and pops and rattles this is exactly what i need right now so it's again mid-afternoon but i got dark skies now so just like i threw that dark colored bait and got bit in clear water now i've got literally the perfect top water bait to throw and i thought i got it done i was just so excited because yeah top water i'm not thinking top water right now because it's early in the day but i'm wrong i'm telling you guys you can crush fish middle of the day all day sunny clouds it just depends on the situation so let me get up here on the shoreline and let me go in through this ima top water bait walk this thing around and see what we can do see if i can really get this slam done <laughs> I got the slam done if I could get it in this bass I was looking down at the I was looking down at my rod and it hit the water I must have moved it one time and the slam is done unbelievable Ima you are the beast and with this cloud cover guys it's got to be like barely three o'clock in the afternoon the slam is done I've been throwing this Ima literally probably maybe 10 minutes at the most and barely even had to work this just walking this bait and it walks beautifully the hooks are wicked sharp man it's time to have some fun guys this slam is done I'm gonna do some top water fishing I'm gonna do some waggle worm action I'm gonna throw that I'm gonna go all the way back I'm going where I was planning on going with that dark colored uh chatterbait that I thought I had completed the slam with a little prematurely but guys that's it slam done let's go fishing let's do some more can you guys tell how excited i am I, I can't get enough of this man fishing for me is just every release that could ever be known when it comes to the challenges of life this place this lake is incredible uh the mystery tackle box is killer the weather today is crazy you see these leaves turning inside out i don't wonder if it's going to storm on me but regardless there's a storm of fishing going on right now and i'm going to be beating up these banks on the way back like i said uh, to fish this dark colored uh, chatterbait and i'm going to tuck myself back up in some of these pockets and get out of the wind to throw the jig and the uh flickety split and keep on moving from there so this is just a heck of an afternoon so far
Oh, I got myself a calm spot. And guys, it's going on. I did it. I came up here into this more milky stained water. It's like a milky green color. It's not quite where it's going to be when I get up to the other spot. Look at the size of that fish. On the chatterbait, the dark colored, what's supposed to be a nighttime fishing bait. But guys, these dark colors are prime time in stained water and cloudy, cloudy skies. So there you go. All right, another fish out of, uh, with one of the baits out of the mystery tackle box. We're just going to keep on fishing and play the cards as they're dealt and see how we end up. Oh boy, I think we got loaded again, guys. Oh Jesus, is that, oh nice fish. Oh my God, right here in this pocket, right by this beach area. How cool is that? Look at that decent fish. Oh, he's in the boat. That's the second time today. Decent fish, guys. Little skinny. Wow, there's a finally little, little spot of sun. That's number three fish. Number three fish on a, on a chatterbait in black and purple just as the sun comes out isn't that amazing all right that's number three and that's what i want to throw a little bit i want to do a little power fishing with this wind uh, i'll be breaking out that jig once i get into some wood and definitely that flickety split when i need to but right now in this colored water exactly what i expected to happen is happening so let's throw this a little bit more and see how many more we can catch yep there he is stained water Guys, I love the bite on these things. This is this a decent fish? Oh, I think I got a decent one. Yeah, I got a decent fish, guys. I've got a decent fish. And I told you, if I come up here in this stained water, I'm going to find some bigger fish. And this dark colored bait is going to bring him in. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Exactly what I was expecting right there, guys. So here we are in the stained water, killing it on the black and purple chatterbait the <laughs> the nighttime special right here in the bright sunny skies isn't that incredible so guys i'm just gonna keep fishing power fishing i can power fish them that's what i'm gonna do all these other baits will work i can go up all into that clear water and play in the pockets and throw the jig and throw that little uh that little worm but man if i could do that that's what i'm gonna do for a little while and definitely definitely later i'm gonna definitely throw that top water bait a little more so let's just have some fun with this chatterbait Oh, little guy. <laughs> They're biting back here, folks. That was a little dink, but he bit. So, yeah, this is uh, this is the deal back here. I'm going to go over every little bit of cover that I see. Try not to get snagged up. It's only like two and a half feet of water back here, but the color of the water is perfect. So, I knew there'd be some bass here, and they are. Guys, look behind me. That's what I'm talking about. Stained water. That's it right there. Another bass on the dark colored chatterbait. Killing it. Love some power fishing. Love figuring out a pattern. Love knowing where they're at. Let's keep fishing. Yeah, so the last time I was out here, junk fishing was the name of the game. It was absolutely ridiculous the last time I was out here with every kind of bait you could imagine throwing. But the uh, the numbers were there, but the size wasn't. You know, today, they're just they're just a little bit bigger. I've got a little bit bigger group of bite, fish biting. They're definitely liking this chatterbait. They like pretty much everything else I had to show them. But uh, I'm, I'm really, really wanting to see what this lake has to offer. I know there's giants in here, guys. Uh, I've caught them over seven. My buddy's caught them over seven uh, and eight. And I've had another buddy of mine, I think the PB out of the group of guys that I have uh, close to me that fish here is over nine. So there's some giants in this lake. It's just there's so many little ones. We got to wean our way through them to find that big one. That's what I'm trying to do right now. There we go. Nice. Oh, what a jump. Oh my God, what a jump. What a fish. Decent bass right off the wood. Get in here. Wow, another nice fish on the chatterbait. Unbelievable. That was a heck of a jump, guy. Wow, good job. All right, so guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Big old log, black and purple chatterbait and a cream lures uh, killer little swim bait trailer. Absolutely awesome combo. This is so fun. Oh, is that a fish? Oh my God, I got a giant. Oh my God, finally, I got a freaking giant out here on this lake. And I've been trying for the longest time to get one like this and it's here. Oh my God, this is a pig. Look at this fish. It is buttoned so well. Come here, you are not going anywhere. Guys, check that out. I got the big one, finally. And God, mystery tackle box, killing it with a 
black and purple chatterbait making it happen. What do you think, guys? Is that a day or what? It's like everything came together when it comes to the conditions. You cannot ask for a better situation for that killer little chatterbait. Amazing. All right, let's put that back. There's more to go. Let's just keep on going, guys. There she goes. Look at those big, beautiful eyeballs. Back she goes. There we go. Another one. Oh my gosh, nothing big. After that, after that last one, man, this thing feels like a little nothing, nothing, but it's, he's coming in. Incredible. Just smoking him. I, I just love it. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, this is the spot to be. This stained water and this bait. Jeez Louise. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, I am literally right at the boat ramp. It's been an absolutely epic night. It's blowing out there. The sky's darkened so quick. It's not quite sunset. It's just the clouds are so thick. And I swear there's a big old thunderstorm coming. The leaves are blowing and turning inside out. So I got the flickety split, the catch go flickety split. And I got that waggle worm on there. Let's see if we can end the night the way we started the night with one more fish, literally right by the ramp. That'd be absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and throw this in a high percentage spot, maybe right over by this log and right by these overhanging limbs. So we get one more fish to call it a night. Oh, no way! Guys, right by the boat ramp and last fish with one more cast. That's absolutely epic. This has been an absolutely incredible day. It's not a bad fish either. It's not a complete dink. Let's see if I can get him in here without losing them. Guys, how cool is that? To end the night the way I started it with the same bait. Guys, this has been one of the best MTB slams of all time for me. It's absolutely been incredible. Guys, if you haven't treated yourself to a mystery tackle box of any type, go to mysterytacklebox.com, treat yourself to a subscription, and use my code YTFE, short for YouTube Fishing Vids, and get $10 off the first box of your new subscription. Folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.